Hey guys, welcome back to some of your Objective-C tutorials. Now in this tutorial we're going to be uh, breaching into the object-oriented programming where we're going to start developing new objects and then assigning different methods or actions that uh, that object does. Now I know this is kind of an intro, so I'm going to I'm going to step back and kind of explain what an object-oriented or an object is and then how what are we going to do with that object. But before we get into it, I want to get you guys all set up to where we're at the same point. And so we're going to create a new project within Xcode. And within that, we're going to go to the applications for the Mac OS X, click on the command line tool, and we're going to go into our, the next screen here where we're going to assign a name to this project. It can be whatever. I'm just going to quickly write abje, object tutorial. And there we go. Company name, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is kind of the standard that uh, we use. And then the type we're going to be in the foundation. Make sure the automatic reference counting is selected and go ahead and proceed for it. So this is kind of how we've been getting set up for like the syntax that we've done in the previous tutorials. But I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page there. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the right utilities tray. And then I'm going to go over to the left where all of our source files are. And you guys remember from the previous tutorials that we're usually in this main.m. And the main.m is basically where the compiler goes and search searches and finds the first code that it's going to compile. Now, um, we've explained a little bit of this. Um, this is going to be basically importing um, system files that have already been developed and those are used as we further go on. But I don't want to I don't want to bug you down or bog you down with those kind of terms. So what we're going to do is kind of jump into it. You'll start learning piece by piece and then as it as uh, we move forward, you'll see how each one of the pieces works together. So first, we're gonna x we're gonna uh, delete that ns log, and that basically displays um, log in the screen as we, you've seen in the previous. We don't need it for this particular thing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new object. Now you guys, objects are all around you, like the computer you're on, or the phone you're on, or whatever you're on right now is an object. Now that particular object has different methods, or or what they call actions that it does. It may uh, go to the internet, it may make a phone call, it may store your calendar. Those are all different actions or methods that that device or that object does. Now um, what we're gonna do is create a class and uh, we're gonna create a class object, a, basically a generic term here and we're gonna use let's say let's say maids. Um, We've, we've got some maids coming over because apparently we can't keep our kitchen clean and we're hoping they can just take care of it you know all the bacon grease and the whatever we cook in there frozen pizzas uh, we're having a hard time with that so we're gonna create a class for maids so how we're gonna do that is you can click anywhere in the source files on the left or anywhere within this tray you'll see new file come up or you can just click file new and you'll see file so when you click the new file, this is how we're going to get set up. You'll see the very first file um, or template that's selected is the Objective C class, and that's perfect because we want to basically bring in the implementation and header file for this new class that we're developing for Mates. So go ahead and select the Objective C class. We're going to go ahead and go uh, forward, forward, progress that are through the next, and this class we're going to name just Mates. All right, and you see that it defaults as a subclass of an NS object. So as as we spoke about, we're creating an object class, and that class is maids. So we are good. We are good to go there. So go ahead and click next. Just uh, designate where you want to save that, and you'll see that we we have two files now that appeared. Now let me briefly explain the difference between the two. The maids.h is basically our header file. The interface for what we're going to put out there. And so this is where we're going to uh, um, establish our methods. It's going to be where we uh, establish our instances. And then what we do is we take those methods and we put them within the implementation. And in here we tell each method what we want it to do. Um, the difference between each one of these is basically the .h or the interface, the, uh, the header file here, is a public class or public class file that you, that uh, is accessible. The implementation with code and the guts of how the methods work is going to be in the .m. 
So uh, don't worry about too much of the other details. This import will explain later. Um, so once you get to this point, guys, we are ready to start developing this maids object. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell our main um, f source file here to pull from our class and pull from that object and tell that object what to do. So once you get to this point, um, we're going to break, go on to the next tutorial, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the next one.